The next acquisition I'd like to show you is called Multi-Die. This acquisition is very powerful and flexible in that it allows you to have multiple probes in a sample and then you can pick out the individual intensity traces for each probe individually. So in this sample here, since it's BSA, I'll try exciting a tyrosine and a tryptophan and we'll generate two traces, one for each of the substances. So click on multi-dye and that will activate the multi-dye mode and then we can go and we can choose which dyes we want. So I'll start from scratch here and we'll go and we can choose add to add a dye and take a look through the list and see if your dyes are in there. So by hitting T it'll bring me to the T's and I don't see any tryptophan in there so I'll just pick any dye and then I'm going to edit the properties of that dye. Alright, so we'll call this one trip, T-R-Y-P, and I'm going to choose trips excitation, which is 290, and the emission is 340, and then I say OK. So that'll be die number one. Now we'll add a second die, and I'll edit the properties of this die, and we'll call this one tyrosine and we'll excite at 280 nanometers and the emission at 340. So now we have our two dyes and we can keep on adding more and more dyes depending on how many we have. Two in this case I'll demonstrate. We'll need to put in an integration time. Let's go with 0.1 seconds and of course we'll have a duration uh, which I, I'll just leave at 30 seconds. Our traces will then generate dye 1 and dye 2. So we've got our tryptophan here and our tyrosine here. We can rename them if we wish. We'll put them all within the same curve set. And if we want, we can create a ratio between these two. So I'm not going to bother with that right now. And we'll start this experiment. So notice I'm in a split window from before. The window controls are over here on the left side. If I want to just show a single window, I click up here into one graph mode. Right now you'll see we've got our 290, which is our tryptophan down here, and our 280, which is our tyrosine up top here. So this will continue for 30 seconds, and then we can uh, save the data after the 30 second experiment's done. Okay, the system automatically stopped. You could, of course, stop that at any point in time. And we'll save the entire session by going Save Record As. We'll call this uh, All. And if I want, I can save this as an individual and rename it as well for housekeeping. So this was our multi-die. And we can save our multi-die separate as well by choosing Save Session As. Okay, so multi-die, very powerful mode. Uh, it's very popular with uh, individual probes and single cell experiments uh, on a microscope as well, which the system is capable of doing if you add the microscope accessories.